Uh, hi guys, wrapping it up here at Joe Pool. Uh, buddy Braden's doing some sand bass fishing. Thought he had a bite. You got one? You got one? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so we're here on a summer morning. Uh, it's me and my buddy Braden Jenkins out at Joe Pool Lake, Grand Prairie, Texas. Uh, we're gonna do a little fishing for a couple hours. Start with the top water. I'm gonna try a wacky rig uh, stick bait, which I'm not real familiar with. So we're gonna try that out and we're gonna do a little drop shot fishing. So, all right, let's check her out. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> This is unreal. <laughs> Ever had it this bad before? No. <laughs> like, I'm gonna make a video just of this. Like... These are real little turds. Do you think that's maybe what the problem is? Yeah, that these are really, really nice. At this point, I don't really think it should matter. Okay, I actually just saw that one. No, I have a really small top water. I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. Look at how little this is, bro. They're pretty much everywhere still. Okay, they're only over here. <laughs> Can you throw right in the middle of that? Not a bite. Boy, I, that's impressive. I threw it right on top of it. Come here, you monster. Got him on a wacky worm. Told you, bro. Hey, did I just tell you not to throw something in me like a shed? That's one for the books. <laughs> Braden never has any faith in what I do. Alright, first catch of the day. That's how you break a streak. Get your confidence up. First fish I've ever caught on a wacky rig. And wow, is the aftermath a nightmare. So here's my thought process behind this wacky rig right now. If they're not hitting our top water, but they are chasing shad to the top, 
maybe they'll hit something that looks like a shad that's fallen, falling. That's why I was throwing a fluke. There's one. Be a monster? No. <laughs> Number two, Braden. How many you got? I'm gonna throw something that looks like a shed. Sorry, Lloyd. For God, you never make a mistake. <laughs> 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 Got one? I had one? Boy, you know what I like about these? Tournament time, they would keep. <laughs> oh, got me. Boy, you swallowed it, didn't you? You wanted it. Alright. Number three. I can't believe I've caught three fish with a wacky worm rig today. And I've this is my first time ever wacky worm rigging. Got him? Nice catch. Is that on a wacky rig? Yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah. My lines are like like a bullet. There he is. Come back for it. <laughs> I love it when they do that. What is that, number five? Four or five? It's either four or five. The video will keep, uh, keep track for me. Uh, hey guys, uh, wrapping it up here at Joe Pool. Caught a couple fish today on a wacky rig, uh, six inch stick bait. Uh, first time that I've ever used a wacky rig before. Uh, I like it so far. I want to point out that the fish I caught today were caught on the Zepco Slingshot. It's only $10 at Walmart. So even though it's not a part of the affordable fishing video series because I was using some higher end line and some higher end lures, uh, I think that's worth noting. All right guys, well hey, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and be good. See you next time. Should I get you in it? I should probably get you in it. Uh, I don't want to be in it. Huh? Don't want to be in it. That cut right there is going in it, just so you know. I knew when you said, huh? Oh, that's <laughs>